people. Will not harass the people. I forget. I will not harass anybody for the most part. <clears throat> okay. Now sure, I got gotcha. you. I got it. Okay. Thank you. Let me turn this off. There we go. No problem. No problem at all. No. (laughs) Yeah. It's a big block of ice. It's a big block of ice. Okay, makes sense. Uh, we just changed the filter, so yeah. yeah. We're all we're all vaccinated in here. Just FYI, I know. Whatever, however you feel comfortable. Okay, so how's how's everybody feeling? Okay, give me give me one moment. Okay, I'm gonna take Rebecca down just to to give her a quick rundown. Okay. Sure. Uh, it, a fella just changed it a couple days ago. It's what I was told anyway. Uh, I wasn't here. My uh, my little sister was. It was just starting to freeze up down there. Give me a little bit more light there. Um, and then uh, behind the TV here, this uh, this outlet. You know, for some reason, this outlet won't done. get any juice. Big ass bear TV that just got installed. He was sending me photos so I could make sure that it was the proper height. I'm like, thanks, yeah. He's like, I, I did actually have to crack it. He goes, that was too tall. You got to bring it down a foot. He's like, okay. Wow. Very interesting. That ain't supposed to be there. Nope. It's an 83 inch TV. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> I did swap to a projector recently for my main screen for like TV, and it's nice because I can also yeah, just fold, fold that, it up so to the ceiling. <laughs> um, but speaking of oversized screens, I don't remember if I told you guys, but I recently swapped um, to three yeah. twenty-eight inch monitors, yeah, and it was a terrible happen. decision. Uh, I'm like, wanna, I'm know, full panning I left to right <laughs> to be able to see everything. I had help. It's so I I ended up turning one of them vertical just because like it's the only way I could even have two yeah. screens in my my uh, vision. I want you to follow my I want you to follow my eyes on what I have to do to look at the URL bar. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, so I'm I'm assuming uh, you guys so didn't make that channel there either. No, so <laughs> someone made a all right, someone just did their own homebrew action apparently. Um, when, yeah, it's great, you know. Right, right next I, to it. It's okay. not great. It's I I regret everything. If I could go back to 24s, uh-huh. I would, but I paid for these and I'm keeping oh, them, okay. so. <laughs> I know. Uh-huh. Oh, jeez, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> uh, it's, uh... Not stuff you guys did. Thank you. Thank you.
No, that's a homebrew system. Uh, I, built, I built that. From, yeah, it was built from scratch. <laughs> I ball in the malediction. Well, pretty last year, but this was this got put together bits and bobs uh, slowly. Friend of mine, husband, is a. I think I'm not sure what he does because he and then he wrote part of the protocol for when you transmit MRIs over the internet. The Okay, so everybody good. Wade, we good? <laughs> Maintenance. Once, uh, once Panda's back on his uh, his headset. Yeah, good Did stuff. I get the final version? Was that the one you sent me? Yeah, that was super fun. Wait, I think for the, the the splash page specifically, it really needs to accentuate the different heights of everyone because it's <laughs> it's hilarious the height differential we have going on in this party. Yeah, you've got two eight foot tall, a two foot tall, or like three foot tall, and then like. That's what I do my best at, be a normie. The fact that that the bird is the normal height is still terrifying. By the way, like that's right. sorry about that, guys. Yeah, the the pair of fellows got here for fix my AC. That kind of takes priority. Yeah. So Stop. it turns out whoever had this apartment last totally put in like a custom channel raceway and their own outlet without is informing that... the apartment complex. Oh, is that that's what was home... up on the high pot of the hall? Yeah, that's all homebrew. Some asshole just <laughs> built it. <laughs> Didn't ask for and... permission, just did. Oh, there we go. Better to ask for forgiveness than permission. Yeah, I guess. Something like that. No, not in that case. <laughs> Was there something that I needed to do? Chai was kind of telling me something, and I was... Uh, I just... You, you had your character set to level 4. Why is my character level 4? Why is your character level 4? You've leveled up. <laughs> oh! No. no. If, uh, if you guys want to, uh, to, to, to run theoretical versions of your characters or, you know, look at potential builds, just make a copy of them. But uh, please make sure you leave your uh, your in campaign character sheets 
uh, in campaign because I have to look at them pretty. You know, I look at them pretty regularly to get an idea of where you guys are at in power, health, spells, things like that. Um, so everybody feeling good and ready? Yeah, sorry about that. I don't know if you know what happened. It's all good. It's all good. Not sweating it. So um, you guys, when we last left, when, yeah, go for it. When we last left off, the, the party had uh, ventured to the town of Greenest, all in your separate ways. A variety of things had, had brought you into town. Um, and to that end, uh, you all had, had made each other's company uh, in, a, in a night of revelry at the bar as you you know, enjoyed plotting a, a trip to the depths of the sea to explore what was there. Uh, but it would seem that uh, you woke to find uh, quite a different thing uh, going on in the world around you. Uh, some, uh, some very intimidating uh, noises coming from a dragon that was flying around. Uh, and to that end, you guys uh, set out to find that there are uh, creatures attacking the, uh, the city. Uh, you have raised to its defense. You protected the, the city as it were, uh, and ventured out to find that they were planning to attack uh, what we thought was the water mill, but is actually the temple. But you guys can, can you know, we're able to see that there are people barricaded inside. Um, and uh, at this point, uh, you all, a, a very friendly dog who is wonderful and beloved by all, uh, brought you into the home of a, a local priest uh, who, you know, named, named uh, Laura, who healed you guys up. And uh, you guys are, at this point, are in the town. They're in their house. Uh, they're, the, the wife and, uh, or the, yeah, the wife and kids have, have run off to uh, go to the inn to get inside of the keep through, through the secret passage. What would you guys like to do? We're all still spent, right? There was no rest or anything like that? Or there was no rest. Any action, you, right? Correct. You only got the heals that uh, were provided. Um, yeah. Should Cha be muted and uh, not have the video on? Is that... Uh, she should not have video on. We were, didn't have time to make a, a new art layout. Oh, okay. No worries. But audio is okay. Muted, though. Say hello, Cha. Hello. Okay, good. Just want to make sure you're involved. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. All right. So you said there's a temple. Yes, the temple's uh, what you guys were scouting out. Seeing that is uh, an attack is being formed on it. Uh, they were building uh, wood pyres against it. Uh, it was clear that they didn't want to burn it down. The the fires were a fake out based on your scouting. Uh, but they, it looks like they have assembled a battering ram at the front of the temple and are preparing to start uh, hammering that door down. Uh, looks like there are some kobolds, a couple cultists, uh, one of those fellas in the, the funny mask, and a few other people near them. Roughly how far away are we from that? Um, maybe, looks like about 100 yards. Does it look like there's a back entrance? Um, yeah, yeah, if, uh, yeah, well, I mean, give me a, uh, give me a perception. I got mad perception. Or, or you do have a, a local healer, uh, in your group, or who is, who has just healed you all. A group of you really could use a healer. Would you like me to come along? Yeah. Yes. Four hands. We, uh, this town's got a problem, and this is your town, so it seems like it might also be your problem. It, it, it's, it always becomes my problem. I'm happy to help. Do you know if there's another Do way you... into this temple? Uh, Laura, you would know that there is a back entrance to the temple. Um, but it would require you all to go past the, the group there, or you could attempt to, you know, sneak down by the river, uh, but that's going to take you likely in view of the keep. 
There's multiple ways around, but all of them have their own risks. We can go via the river, but we might be seen, or we can cut straight through, which has its own set of problems. So it's whatever you guys think is best, but I can certainly lead. Well, we already tried cutting through the middle before. Maybe we should try out this river. Good enough for me. I need to do a water test anyway, so we can go through the waterway. I think that's the best. Okay, so you guys are planning to, to go on the outskirts of town to get down to the river and then try to come up along the riverbank? Yes. How long would all of that take? Um, it's probably going to take you maybe a good 10 minutes to work that far out. Um, and it does appear that they do have a battering ram at the door. Yeah, I was going to say, like, can the church door even, like, withstand 10 minutes of taking the long way? Wasn't it supposed to be a trap that wasn't really a trap? It's totally a trap? Like, Yeah, like, what if we us? ambush them? Right, From, but... What, they does that mean they're going to batter it down before we get there? What's the structural integrity of your door to your temple? Look at the you. Uh, Laura, you, you you would say that a simple wooden door probably couldn't last long against a battering ram. It's <laughs> it's not like so many other temples built for built to be fortresses. Well, I guess that just means that we should just run in. Swords are waving. <laughs> they won't expect Just... it. It'll be great. Oh, mercy. Surprise, oh, surprise. That's one way to do it. I run towards the temple. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let's go, big guy! <laughs> okay, we'll... Uh... <laughs> Uh, All right. So as this as this conversation is going on, Serenia is going to use disguise self to appear three feet shorter and three feet less of a target. <laughs> uh, and now she looks like a normal human. Okay. I can also wow. just start fire bolting from like 120 yards away too. So let me know when we get there. Yeah, I'm I'm prepared crossbow. Uh, if you guys like, would like to move yourself on the map. Which direction is it? Is it west Down. or south? <laughs> south. <laughs> ah! Are you screaming as you charge forward? God damn it. Yeah, a little bit. I got my spear and my shield out. Not the god. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and we are going to roll initiative. I can't do this out of the Bimgog at my side. I'm coming. I'm hoofing it. Got short little legs. Not as short as yours, but short still. That's a, a whole lot of hurt. Oh, jeez, fuck. It's so far away. You'll be okay, Bimgog. Uh, I'll take care of you. I'll take care of you. Don't worry. I'll take uh, care of you no matter the situation. I've got your back. We'll go everywhere. We're going to go on adventures together. We're going to do all sorts of crazy shit, Bimgog. Uh, I mean, I'm there. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> um, but, but we got to we gotta get through this part first. Uh, I will We're let close. you guys. I will give you guys one round of surprise because you decided to charge in. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Bear. Right, yeah, I'm gonna uh, move. See what I can see. Oh, uh, I got a few friends. Yeah, you see the uh, the gentleman in the strange mask barking out orders as the two cultists at the front are, uh, you know, putting themselves to the battering ram and uh, beginning to to set it towards the door. Uh, the kobolds are are scurrying around the edges uh, while. Two men in equally strange masks uh, are uh, uh, tending to the uh, tending to the cultists. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna charge into them and uh, 
try to cave his skull in. Okay. Uh, it looks like it's a little bit out of your range. Um, so do you want to do you want to double move to get there, or do you have a range attack you'd like to make? Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a hammer at him. Okay. Uh, who are you attacking? Okay. Uh, you do throw your hammer, uh, but it, it just goes past him uh, and, and lands against the, the battering ram. Okay. Anything else? That's it for me. Sprocket. Uh, let's see. Sprocket will run up. He can't cover quite the distance that um, Diorno can cover. And so he will instead run up and slam his golden hammer against his shield, producing a toll the dead at the guy right in the front there. The dragon claw? Okay. Uh, he is not missing any hit points. That's actually DC 14. I don't know why it doesn't update that. Uh, it looks like it takes effect. Uh, he, uh, he staggers and, uh, uh, yells out, We're being attacked! We knew that these fools might come. Real bright of you to see that. Uh, uh Bimgog. Bimgog. Bimgog is gonna double move and get himself right there. And then... Uh, he is uh, just going to take his uh, time to make aim on that guy right uh, right in the front. Okay. And uh, that's all he can do. So I'm moving my hunter's mark. Okay. Bob. Okay. Uh, Bob is, I guess... Doesn't have super speed over here, but Bob's got a crossbow, and so it's probably going to attempt a sneak attack there. Okay. That will hit. Roll for damage. All right. And then, uh, yeah, and then, so it's 10 altogether. All right. You, you, you line up your shot, and kind of focusing on where, you know, Bimgog's already been pointing at this guy. You line your shot up and let it loose, and it sinks into the, the center of the guy's throat. He starts coughing and falls to the ground, sputtering. All right. Um, just because I can, I'm going to hide. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a bonus action. Um, there's a, a short wall right there uh, that, you know, just like a, a garden terrace wall. You can yeah. uh, duck down behind it. So uh, go ahead and give me a stealth check if you'd like. Okay, you feel pretty hit. All right. Ser Serenia. Uh, I will double move here. And mm -hmm. then use my bonus action to cast Shillelagh. Okay. Anything else? That's all I got. Alexandra. All right, so uh, what was the cleric's name again? Laura. Mm -hmm. Laura, okay, so just stay behind us uh, in case we need to get healed. And then Al Alex will double move up to get with the party. And at the same time, she's going to chug a shot of fire water and cast false life on herself. Okay. And that is all. Laura. Am I in range for bless? Uh, uh, for a player, sure. You could uh, you could okay. probably bless um, Serenia. All you have to do is to look at the spell, and it has its range listed right next to it. Thirty it says thirty feet. Mm -hmm. I I'm all you got. I'm the okay. only one close enough. <laughs> um. Oh, great. Uh. All right, yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, Serenia, you are blessed. Thanks. 
All right, so the cultists uh, turn, uh, seeing that they are being approached. And massacred? Uh, this fella is going to scoot over next to his friend, and looks like he prepares for you all to approach closer. Uh, Mr. Bear, it looks like you could get there this round. Uh, you don't necessarily have to double move. Okay, great. Uh, it is your turn. It's Bear's turn? Yes. Okay. Okay, when you get into range with him, he swings. No problem. Uh, but I'm guessing a seven does not hit you. It does not. He's going to meet armor. Yes. Do much armor. Oh, much armor. Kitty likes that. Uh, All right. Are you doing anything? Yes, I am going to cave a skull in. Okay, give me swings. Oh, shit. That will connect. Click and drag to roll dice. I shouldn't need to do that. You should just have to click on the dice window. Oh, or you can say. click on the you can click on the pink number I, underneath I, the I did. Okay. I've been doing this a while. I don't know what the what the hell that was about, so I don't know. Can uh I damage? Yeah. Yeah, you definitely connect with him. Uh he is he is extremely staggered. Uh but he uh Spits a little blood and and you know readies his next swing. Anything Turn else? Over. Turn over. Okay, his friend standing next to him is going to slash at you. I'd be bigger. <laughs> you have a yeah, complex. There, yeah, I do actually. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yes, so huge now. <laughs> How does it feel to not be the tallest party member? I am the tallest party member. No. No, you're and uh, his you attack share, will one. will bounce off too much armor. Too much armor. This kobold will move forward and scrap at you. Or actually, no, he's gonna he's gonna hang back and he is going to. Um, Sling a rock at you. Oh, rock, sticks, and stones. Uh, but it, it encounters too much armor. Too much armor. Sprocket. Uh, Sprocket will use all of his movement to probably get behind Bjorno. And then he's going to actually cast Fairy Fire on this group of five over here. Okay. With the group on the right with the kobolds? Yeah, the kobolds and that golden thing. Okay. All of the kobolds kind of look up at it and start blinking as their their eyes get this, this weird dust in it. Nice. Yeah. Coat them all. Their bodies start glowing like neon colors. Um, which makes them exceptionally easier for us all to hit. So anything that failed, we all have advantage on our attack rolls against them. Oh, it's beautiful. I got all of them. Holy crap. Every single one of them. Uh. Oh, that's like that's like caster juice right there. I just ah, uh, ants. Nice. You All want right, ants? This is how we get ants. <laughs> <laughs> this cultist Facebook will Facebook Messenger for you, Dave. Yep, here shortly. No problem, man. Thank you. Uh, this cultist will take a swing at you. Uh, he will again uh, encounter too much armor. Too much armor. <laughs> Dimgog. 
Bimgog is going to have to, again, double move, and he's going to move, uh, he's going to move up to there. Um, and then he's going to move his Hunter's Mark to uh, this person over here. And that will be all Bimgog will do. Okay. Uh, you're not going to take any attacks? I can't. I had a double move. It was uh, two um, feet to move. You're, you're, it's not that far. I know it measured out. Don't worry about it. If you want to make okay, an attack, uh, feel free. Then I will uh, take an attack against that guy. Do, 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 do. All right. Let's hope. Your crossbow, oh, 30 feet, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, that should hit. And he falls down. Die! Anything else? That's it. Bob. All right. Um, I'm just going to go right over here, and I'm going to start okay. shooting at these kobolds here. Okay. Go ahead. You have advantage. Uh, all right. That means sneak attack applies, too. Yay. It does. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fourteen will connect. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh, sixteen. Dropped like a sack of bricks. Oh. Uh, Serenia. I... Oops, yeah. Sorry. Oh, I was just going to see if I can blend into the shadow of the building. With the... Um, you're a little bit, it very much in the in the little bush, in the middle of a street. There's not much you can really shadow into. Oh, okay, Uh, Serenia. I will 30 feet up, and then let me see where I'm at. Oh. Alright, I'm just going to double move again then. Alright, we're going to say you can actually get all the way up here if you'd like. Yeah, that's way further than uh, what the map was telling me. So. Yep, don't worry about the map. I I, I, I underestimated how, uh, how far it was, so we're just not going to sweat it. Alexandra. All right. So, so is this guy here? This guy is he within one hundred twenty feet of me? Um. Because it says one hundred seventy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. we'll give so it to you today. I'm gonna throw a firebolt at that guy. Okay, go for it. You, the alcohol helped. You do your, you know, your, your swig of, of fire water, rinse it around your mouth, and just, you all watch as a stream of, of fire twists and, and, and turns and reaches out to him and blasts him directly in the chest as he's knocked over. Uh, doesn't appear to be breathing. <laughs> all right. Uh, Bear, you're being attacked. Again, too much armor. Too much armor. Too much armor. Uh, you have uh, rocks being flung at you. Will a 19 connect? It will, yes. Six in stones. Uh, actually, my apologies. It's the fifth. No, no, no. Never mind. They do, no, no. My apologies. They, 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 they have disadvantage because they're in sunlight, but they have advantage because of pack tactics. Uh, so, so yeah, it will hit you for six damage. And all the, all the kobolds begin screaming, THE DRAGON! Uh, the next kobold's rock goes soaring over your head and shatters a window behind you. This gentleman... This gentleman will step forward and he will look at you, um, Mr. Bear, and he will tell you. One moment. 
he will tell you grovel uh, as he casts the command spell at you. Uh, I will need you to make a wisdom from... save. Wait, which one is that? Oh, okay. Never mind. So we need a wisdom save from the bear. I could do it. Womp womp. So uh, you, you, you hear this command and you feel compelled. Uh, you will drop down to your knees. Do you say anything? Do not hurt the people. Please do not hurt the innocents. Fight me instead. But spare the people. Please. Please. Mm -hmm. One of the kobolds seeing you drop will uh, again sling a, uh, a, a rock at you. Unfortunately, you being prone, actually... <laughs> well, anyway. Um, looks like they don't hit you. <laughs> Laura. I am going to double move to get better in range. Okay. So I can kind of... Alright, so what would... That would be... We'll put you about right here. Okay, yes. All right, thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, cultist turn. Uh, he is swinging at the, the prone bear. Uh, does an 18 hit you? It will. You'll take seven slashing. And it is your turn. Alright, well, I gotta try to resist the spell again, I believe, right? Uh, no, it's only one turn. Oh, great. Well, uh, I'm gonna swing at the already injured guy and hopefully take him out. And I confuse right. why my party mates didn't do that, but alright. These things happen. Uh, you will certainly connect, and he will go down. Alright. Turn complete. Uh, I'm going to stand up, by the way. Oh, okay. Sprocket. Let's see. Sprocket is going to... I'm going to stab this guy that's right here next to me. Spear time. Sprocket the stabber. That will actually hit. Ooh, there we go. Um, take that five damage. All right. He winces in pain as, as you ca catch him right in the rib. Uh, yeah, that'll be it for me. This, uh, this cultist will charge forward. Uh, and he encounters too much armor. Oh, much armor. <laughs> Bimgog. Uh, the same one that, that Sprocket attacked. Bimgog thinks that's a great idea, plus he's way too close to Sprocket. So uh, I'm going to move, uh, as bonus action, move my Hunter's Mark. And I'm going to try to shoot him in the face. Um, you could, you, you effectively shoot him in the face. In the face. Uh, his face is removed. No one even goes near Sprocket! You leave him alone! Anything else? It's a real good job, M God. Real good job right there. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm actually going to move over here. And try to try to get a little bit between Sprocket and whatever the uh, um, gravel master over there is. Okay, Bob. I'm done. Can't hear you, Adrian. Sorry, I was trying to be polite, and then I forgot. Um, I'm going to be shooting this guy right here and staying where I'm at. Okay, go for it. Nope. That's not gonna, unfortunately, not gonna happen. Anything else? 
Nah, uh, th- I think that's it. Okay, Serenia. Can I move, like... Oh, jeez, how do I do this again? Can I move here? <laughs> and if so, is that within ten foot of other dude? Where are you moving? That dude. From here to here, right up against this house. Um, yeah, you can certainly move there. Uh, but unfortunately, yeah, that'll put you at 10 feet away from that cultus. And about probably 30 feet away from this guy. Oh, 30 feet away from that guy? He seems worse. Mm-hmm. I'm going to cast a uh, chill touch on him. Okay, is that... Oh, yeah, 120 feet. Okay. Uh, that will certainly hit. Go ahead and roll for damage. Uh, right. And that is necrotic, I believe. Yes. Yes. Uh, you all watch as like a, a portion of his face kind of shrivels as he howls in pain. Alexandra. All right. Um, I'm gonna move over here, and then I'm gonna firebolt that guy. Okay. Uh, that will connect. Uh, and you all watch as on the opposite side, uh, a bolt of fire glances against his cheek uh, as the as the mask he's wearing kind of breaks off. Uh, one of the kobolds is uh, going to uh, take a shot at Bimgog. Hold up. The, the guy who had the mask on with the leg hat blasted off, what does he look like? Is he like a person underneath of it? Like, can we identify yeah, he looks- him? Looks human. Fucking humans. Uh, Bimgog does a uh, does a does a fifteen hit you. Oh no, it does not. It glitched okay. off my shield. Definitely dodge it. Does a nineteen hit you? Sure does. You take six bludgeoning as a rock goes sailing past uh, uh, the first rock. You know, you you block it and the second one goes sailing past your shield. Oh, you piece of shit. (laughs) You said six points? Yes. Okay. Boop. There we go. Okay. Um... Bear, I will need a dexterity save. That's okay. As, as a bolt of radiant flame goes shooting out of this, uh, the the masked man's hand. Oh, I don't think I'm going to dodge that. No, it definitely impacts directly with your chest. Take four radiant. Ouch! I am still standing. As this kobold moves to the side. Uh, he is also going to sling at uh, at you, Bimgog. Uh, but a ten, I'm going to imagine that probably goes lands somewhere at your feet. You are just terrible. What's wrong with uh, you? I can't wait to go and go to where your caves are, and I'm going to do exactly what you think is going to happen to your entire family. Laura, it's your turn. Stupid fucking cobalt's worse than dogs. <laughs> Um, who is in the worst shape right now? Probably the bear. That'd definitely be Bjorno. Yeah. Bjorno gets a healing word. Thank you. Of course. And that will be it for me. Okay. Mr. Bear. Uh, I'm going to ignore this motherfucker right here. He can just take his swing, and I'm going right after this guy. Okay. I grow tired of your wizardly tricks, cleric. Try and knock him out. Make a make an attack. Please that enjoy will... this hammer to the face. I will certainly connect. Go ahead and roll damage. The eighth bludgeoning. 
You uh, you take your hammer and you apply it directly to his face. Uh, he, he collapses before you. Uh, his, his entire mask caved into his skull. I'm gonna step on him and then turn to face this cultist. Well, I guess we gotta torture you instead as I look at the remaining cultist. Uh, his eyes go wide. Uh, uh, he clearly was not anticipating being taken prisoner. Uh, it is your turn, Sprocket. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, turn my spear around so the pointy end is behind me, and I just try and smack him in the skull with the uh, the blunt side of the spear. Okay. Um, so spear attack. Bazinga. Now that will not connect. Uh, wielding your spear backwards just really throwing off your balance. Okay. Uh, he is hey, going hey, to. Hey, Dave! At the start yes. of his turn, a uh, whole bunch of spores are gonna come out and just like, you know, do a do their spory thing. Do spore things. Do spore things. Uh, and noticing that the the spores are starting to 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 uh, grow in his skin, he's actually going to disengage. Dim dog. Okay, so question question for for you, GM. How do you do sure. non lethal damage in five E? You say that you want to do non lethal damage. Can you do it with anything? So, or does it? Sure can. Why not? I don't know. That's what I was told. Now give me one moment. I'll double check it. I say, in my experience, I believe that ranged and magic you can't do non-lethal with. So, so, ra so range, you, unless you have a blunted arrow, you wouldn't be able to. Uh, like I'll allow thing. you to, I'll allow you to do it um, if you want to try to kneecap him. But you're going to take a, a minus five on the roll. I mean, I mean... I think we can catch him afterwards. We, we can heal him. We can we can heal him. That's fair. How far away is he, Dave? He's not very far. He's definitely within your thirty feet. Oh, good. I'm just going to uh, I'm going to take aim at the. Uh, I'll, I'll I'll take aim for for center mass, knowing that you know we'll be able to uh, heal him up, you know, real nice and good afterwards. And uh, sure. so I move my hunter's mark, and I'm going to take a little shot at him. To be fair, we can, we can heal him. It's fine. I said we oh, can we... heal him, not that we will heal him. Uh, you know, you said it. You said a we sixteen will hit. Oh no! <laughs> pretty sure. Pretty sure that means we will. So we can, we oh. can question him. He definitely, him. he definitely falls to the ground. You gotta stop. We're arresting you. We're gonna question that hell out of you, Bob. Stop resisting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go for these kobolds. They're inconvenient. Touch on that one. Chill out, Daniel. Okay. That will certainly hit. One. <laughs> and and I'll move roughly sure. 30 feet. Yeah, he, he shivers quite a bit. Uh, it doesn't look like he's too impacted by it. Alexandra. Well, in sharp contrast, I'm going to target that same one with Firebolt. Maybe if we just fluctuate his temperature enough. <laughs> Feeling very uncomfortable. We're going, going to give him a cold. Uh, that will definitely hit, however, and he is dropped. Uh, this kobold, seeing the uh, the tide turning, is going to uh, run Dave. away. Dave, was he within ten feet of me? Um, probably not. Okay. But he he definitely runs away. Does he get out of a hundred twenty feet range of me because he's not running away for long? Uh, he does not get out of that range, Mister Bear.
I'm gonna throw an axe at him. Okay. Uh, you manage to connect with the with his back, uh, but he keeps running. I give pursuit. I catch your axe! <laughs> Sprocket. And that I was gonna make it better. Uh, and I will slam my hammer against my shield once more, casting the dead. Okay. You all watch as, as the axe as he's running. Uh, he, he, he begins to, to, to hold his head and wobble, and he trips. And as he falls down, the axe is pushed further into him, and he expires. Bjorn goes step on his corpse and pull his axe out like he just like finished cutting wood. Whoop. Wipe the blood on the what, what's left of the kobold's tunic. Is this guy slowly dying? Um, you can make a medicine check. Yes, I'm so good at that. I walk oh, back I... over here and recollect my hammer. He looks dead to you. Well, I drop him back down the ground and walk away. Well, that one's done. We'll have to find another one. <laughs> I think we should have a second opinion I'm from, like, you know, a medical it. professional. Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to go up to the church and knock on the door. Like Grinia, you notice that he is breathing, and he's he's clearly trying, like either unconscious or playing dead. Hey, hey! I told you we could heal. He's not dead, guys. He's he's not dead. Uh, I can't heal him right now, though. Like I'm tapped on that. So you do notice your spores are starting to land on him. Hey, no! I have to choose that for them to hurt. Maybe I will, though. Anybody else taking any action? <laughs> I'm gonna step on him. Yeah. Mm. I'm you, gonna step on him, Dave. Keep him from dying I'm not trying him? to do any damage, though. Yes, yeah, someone should probably tie them up, though. And then I'll heal uh, him. He'll step on him. We've got that. Alright. Yeah, you have a Goliath standing on his chest. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna get 12 for anybody. I'm getting my maul in the croquet position. Croquet position. <laughs> okay. Uh, Please don't. He... <laughs> oh, what is next is up to him. His uh, his wounds disappear, and he's he's uh, laying down, uh, looking at the wall next to him. Hmm. Swing it. So you're I'll not gonna talk. answer any? Oh, you're never gonna talk. Of course, that's what they always say. Are you sure? You should talk. Yeah, to you already us. said like, like five words. That's talking. Yeah, well. I can be really that, stubborn. Did you see oh. that dragon? Yes. I'm gonna make it eat you. It would rather eat you. Why? The goblins, goblins taste quite terrible. Mm -hmm. Filthy, disgusting creatures. Care? Because I am... And he realizes he's about to, to say something. He's like... Not gonna get it out of me. Not gonna get what out of you? Nothing. We already told us that. She's going to finish telling us things. No! I mean, no. I'm trying to help you here. Like, I want you to live and walk away from this. You're not going to let me walk away. I will, absolutely I will. I have no <laughs> desire to see you die here today. Then let me leave. Well, you have to tell us what we want to know first. What do you want to know? Well, how about you finish that thing that you were about to say before? Let's start there. No. No. Only fair. I mean... So you don't want to live. Everybody wants to live. Nobody wants to die. Well, then try and help yourself here, pal. Help me help you. 
help you? Persuasion? Uh, give it a shot. Uh, disadvantage. My devotion to the Order will never be broken. Oh, the Order! What order is that? That's another thing you told us. Step on him harder! When your body yeah. is broken. Yeah. What Order is that? I won't talk! Take me to jail! I bet you it's a stupid name that's just like the Order of the Dragon. Like, I'm, everyone yeah. hasn't already been named that. I'm an unarmed prisoner. You can't kill me. True. Well, that's okay. totally not true. Really? I mean, do we Definitely look like we are a part of any kind of authority figure? We're doing what we want to right now, just like you. You know, <laughs> Laura, L Laura, these people are in your town and are talking about murdering this guy in, in cold blood at this point. Laura just looks around everybody. Um, Mr. Bear, she looks at you for a second. And she makes a gesture that you threaten um, playing croquet somewhere else that will leave him with an effect for the rest of his life, rather than killing him. To threaten it, not to actually follow through. Okay, I'm gonna take my foot up off of the, off of him, and I'm gonna I'm gonna lift him up. He uh, stands up, dusts himself off. Go. Think about what has happened today. Choose a make a better decision tomorrow. He uh, he takes off running. Thanks for telling us all the stuff you told us. We'll tell your friends. Serenia. Serenia. What? I told you we'd Serenia? heal him. Serenia. What? You could sick. You could sick the beast on him. Then we're not doing it. Yeah, the man eater. It'll. Yeah, I would rather eat him than Sprocket, and that's not a crime, right? No, loving me is not a crime. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Just we'll, we'll we'll let this one go. There are worse vices on this earth than mercy. Uh, you all do hear some uh some voices inside of the temple as the door starts creaking open. We got rid of all of the bad guys. Uh, a woman a woman in farmer's clothes uh, with a, uh, a pitchfork uh, stands at the entrance and looks around and you've, you've driven them all back? Yes. Well, most of them have been driven into the grave. She, she, she watches as the dragon soars overhead. What should we do? Probably go inside. We're a little bit of an obvious target right now. Wait, don't we have to get them back to the tunnel? Yeah, there's a tunnel to the keep. Mm -hmm. We need to go to the keep now. Okay. Um, we've got, and she looks behind her, 30, 30 or so people, most of them children. Are they fast, children? They're not fat, that's for sure. Okay. That's I'm bad. going to have the children pile onto my armor as best they can. You, uh, a, you grip a spot. You All grab uh, two or three small ones uh, as they climb on onto the, the mountain that you are. So, how much more AC does he get now that he has all these buffers? <laughs> <laughs> oh my well, goodness. Let's get his baby armor. Let's get as many of these kids within five feet of me as possible, and then I'll lead them to the tunnel. Okay. I will uh, also I... stay within five feet of the group. Yeah, we'll just circle, uh, I will be... circle them. Yeah, I'll be circling like a sheepdog to make sure that they're staying very close to uh, Bjorno. I am going to grab a body, a kobold body, and take it with me while screaming, the dragons, the dragons. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to search all the bad guys while they start to walk off, and then I'll join them in a minute. Okay, one moment. I'll stick around with Serena and, and help. Yeah, you leave find, pocket. Come with me. You find a a very nice emerald, 
and ten gold. Okay. I'll uh, the, put the it emerald in my you would probably guess is worth about fifty gold. Uh, you how are you guys getting them? Yeah, ten gold plus a fifty gold emerald. How are you guys planning to get them there? What route do you want to take? I think the route that we already cleared out while trying to okay. stay like as close to buildings and away from like the dragon as possible. Okay. Um, so you guys managed to, to run them all the way out to this corner again, uh, where uh, Fluffy will actually come out of the house uh, tail wagging uh, and, and run up to, to, to Sprocket barking. <laughs> I ready, I ready my crossbow. I don't fire, but I ready it. Uh, oh, right. I'll do the thing. He uh, he starts uh, walking along with with you guys, uh, growling at a uh, growling long at boy. anything that comes near. Uh, long Serenio, boy, he's long. Serenio will look at uh, look at him and be like. Bark once if everything's all right, and bark twice if we're in danger. Ah! Cool. And you are you are able to successfully lead uh, the the civilians back to the inn. Uh, and as you do, the dragon swoops overhead and lets out a roar. Uh, Laura, I will need a wisdom save. Uh, you are unaffected by the dragon's fear. Uh, as you all make it inside, uh, and the town guard collapses its perimeter in around the building. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take five. Uh, so uh, let's go on a break real quick. But did anyone die?
We saved the people. Good job, us. I like Biorno's auto response lines. I have auto response lines? Yeah, every time when like something fails to hit you, you're like, too much armor. And then oh, every much time armor. you hit something. And then every time, like, they do hit you, you're just, um, what was that line that you said? But still, like, every time something happens, like, you have these, and it reminds me of, like, being in a video game. He is a video game NPC. I am still Aren't standing. we all? Aren't we all? <laughs> uh, Rock. You're the, the entry quest. Struck, like... but still standing. It's very, like, Diablo. I was going for Baldur's Gate. <laughs> I haven't played that one. Hey, so Pete. Yeah. If I could put Destiny down for five seconds and play another game, I'd be upset about it, but... <laughs> Unfortunately, I've been rather obsessed of late. I, I I feel bad I've not been able to get the seem to sync up at the same time with you because I, I definitely want to I want to I want to run some stuff with you because uh, makes makes life a little easier when you got somebody you know who can uh, face roll some stuff and you know there's some just different aspects of some quests that are just really frustrating to solo. Yeah. And what yeah, did he do? Quickly catching up with me. I, he's gonna he's gonna pass me up soon. Dave showed up, kicked ass, took names. Okay. Uh, actually, <laughs> are are we live again? Yeah, we are. Okay. Uh, so you all make it into the the keep. Um, inside you are surrounded by a number of guards who have all, you know, managed to uh, band together. And they, they, they've barricaded the door very securely. Uh, this door, unlike the uh, temple door, is a very secure, iron-banded. Uh, it looks like... Um, Looks like they've got the majority of the civilians here. Uh, the uh, what? That's a good door. Sorry, I lost my notes. And the temple door. The uh, a gentleman in, in in somewhat finer garb. Well, he's got you know, a bit of an air of of leadership. Uh, walks up to to the lot of you. I. Uh, I've heard rumor that we had some heroes about us. Uh, I am adventurers, but close enough. Well, well, excuse me. Uh, cough up a little bit of blood. Oh, just happy to help. Appreciate it. I hope one of the medics takes a chance to get a look at you. <laughs> After that's all said, um, there's going to be a cure on Bajor. Bajor, no. Of course. Uh, my name is Governor Nighthill. I'm, uh, 
leader of this town. I'm disappointed to see what all is, has happened here. But uh, if I may call on your aid some more, I, I do have need. I'm Bjorn Bjornson, and I am here to help. You don't walk so far. Might, might as well not stop now. Will I get more alcohol than was already promised to me, or...? We can what certainly check our stores. be the problem? Other than, you know, that problem. Uh, well, the obvious. Um... Kind of look, looks the goblin up and down. Do you have a I know what pet? the problem is. I'm there. I've been working, Hold working on it. Don't call him a pet. He's a person. Then Gog is small but in stature, but he mighty killed, in spirit. He killed Inside of, of him is the spirit of, of the giant. And more boar hogs than any <laughs> goblin alive. His name is Bimgog. Bimgog. Okay, well, uh, if, if you all could, uh, I've gathered some very basic information about who this group is. Uh, they're led by a, a woman named Frulam Mondoth. And, uh, it appears that they're raiding the town, but I'm not quite sure what for. I was needing a, a prisoner. Like you all to uh, to venture out into the into the night to one of the uh, one of the tunnels and see if you could capture someone for me. A mercenary would be acceptable. A cultist would be ideal. Is there a way to tell the difference between the two? The cultists wear the masks. Oh, they're the mask guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll see what we can do. Wait, does this town have, like, secret valuables or something? You'd know, you're the mayor. We have we have some valuables. We're a successful mining community, so we have a good amount of gold. But, you guys uh, probably found some ancient artifact laid down underneath the mine shaft, and they're coming for it, aren't, aren't they? I'm, I'm sorry, I said, I said mining, I meant farming. Uh, well, but we, we haven't... We haven't tilled up anything of, of significant value. I understand um, why you tell us. We're strangers. But you should think about these things. Um, it might help piece together your investigation. Did you say we should awesome. wait until nightfall before we go out? Yeah, there's a, um, there's a tunnel from our cellar that'll go all the way out near the stream. It'll give you some cover. Um, I would recommend waiting until, until night down. Or nightfall, yes. I could use a nap, that's fair. And Serenia's just gonna walk over to a corner and just, like, lay down and close her eyes. I look at the sun uh, how long until nightfall? Probably about two, three hours. You guys can get a short rest in. Uh, Fluffy, uh, Fluffy Furio, uh, uh, curls up next to you, Serenia. Um, feel free to help yourself to some provisions. Um, maybe just, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go deal with the, the, the town guard and trying to figure out what we can do to, and you all hear the, the, the door being hammered on and the, and the guards are, you know, running up to it and reinforcing it. Short, short rest and a snack for Bjorno. You guys can... I got fluffy. Uh, there is no bar, unfortunately. Okay, the alcohol then. Uh, it would be in the stores, in the larder. I will go in that direction. Uh, okay. He's gonna spend his time hanging around the uh, the children that are there, mm -hmm. and basically just try to keep their minds off of whatever's going on. So uh, they are. The they are extremely scared of you. Um, if you'd like, you could make a performance roll to see if sure. you can get them to uh, let their guards down a little bit. Uh, children don't right. really know the difference between a kobold and a goblin. Pardon me. Um, you managed to get them not to cry. 
I'm just doing the biggest, toothiest goblin grin that I that I possibly can. And I, I'm pretty sure that it's helping. Because, like, normally with the younglings at home, when they see all your all your pointy teeth and you're just, you know, kind of chattering them around, they're they're cool with it. Yeah, uh, and, and some of the kids are just kind of watching you, like, unsure of what they should be doing anyway. Uh, parents will come by and, and gather a few of them up. Uh, but one of them, you know, nobody nobody comes to pick up, so he just kind of sits there and watches you. You're, um... You're green. You're not green. What's your, what's your name? Kyle. Well, don't worry, Kyle. I'll spend some time with you, and you've, just because I'm green doesn't really matter, and, uh, you know, I'm just gonna just try to you know, sit there and maybe we can play some games, hang out for a bit. Where's my mommy? Uh, she, she should be here any any time now. Um, um, she, uh, yeah, she should be on her way. Uh, we we'll, we'll find her. Okay. Do I see what's going on? Yes. Um, I'm going to very gently approach and kneel down by the child. Can you tell me your mother's name? Um, M M Maria. Maria? Yeah. I can try and look for her for you. Okay. Just hang out with um with my goblin friend for a little bit longer. I um, thought goblins were mean. Not all of them. This one's clearly nice. But look at his scary teeth. Well, I know humans with scary teeth, too. Actually, Kyle I know starts lots of kind of giggling when teeth. you point that out. <laughs> nope, you like old man this. Bucket? Well, yes, exactly. He's only got one tooth. It's kind of like this. <laughs> there you see. Now, I think you'll be just fine. I will try and find your mommy. And try to keep in mind that, you know, just because someone looks a certain way doesn't really mean much of anything. Everyone has outliers. He, uh, he looks at Bimgog and goes, you're an outlier. <laughs> you're my favorite outlier. That's perfect. So okay. Uh, go ahead. I'm going to start asking around, seeing if I can find this kid's mom. Um, sure. Uh, you, uh, you're, you're asking around some of the adults and the, and the, you know, you do see a, a town guard, uh, who's kind of stationed and looks like they're, they're trying to, to take notes of, uh, take stock of the situation. Yeah, I, I approach him and fill him in on that. He's, he's writing down some stuff. Yes? Well, we found a little boy who's missing a mother. A lot of people are missing. What's the name? Maria? Do you know where he's, what part of town he's from? East side, west side? Let me go and get him. I'm going to go over and kneel down next to the child again. Do you want to come with me for a little bit? Um, we can Bip Cobb come? Yes, absolutely. Re uh, he reaches up and, and grabs your hand, or reaches over and grabs your hand, Bim Gog. Uh, Bim Gog happily takes it and, and, uh, and follows to wherever he's being led. Uh, the, the guard hasn't even doesn't even look up from his paperwork. Oh, I come with him and back into. Where's this kid from? Go on, little one. Where are you from? Uh, I live on the the west side with my mom Maria and my father uh, Stan. Guard looks up. Kind of a sour look of appears of, uh, on his face. Um, kid, I'm sure they'll show up. Um, why don't you uh, do me a favor, and why don't you run down to the uh, the cellar and find me a bottle uh, a, a bottle of ink? Can you do that for me? Goes, yeah, yeah, I, I, I can do that. We're, we're, just right down there to the right, just around the corner, down another set of stairs, 
And uh, ask one of the guards down there to take you in there with a torch. Kid goes running off. The, the guard looks up at you. Stands dead. Uh, he's in the guard. Uh, Maria, we don't know. Be expected. Well, thank you. Do you have anything to report? Other than that, no. Thank you. Of course. Anybody else doing anything over the short rest? Back in a nap. Yeah, I'm literally just napping, petting Fluffy. Uh. Does anyone try to stop me if I try to put a bag from the cellar, in, or a bottle from the cellar into my bag? Uh, you'll need to make a sleight of hand, Chels. Or I'm sleight not of hand, trying check. to hide it. I'm just going to do it and see if anyone stops me. Um... Bree, stop being, stop being so hand. predictable, Bree. <laughs> um, you're able to... I mean, nobody, nobody's really watching, so yeah, you're able to steal a bottle of whiskey. Yeah, just a short rest. Are there I, any, uh... Do I get any? Oh, go ahead. Do I get any spells back for a short rest? No. I didn't think so. Not as a cleric. Short rest doesn't really help clerics that much. Hey, now okay. help everyone. It's true. I like to spend my time, Dave. If there's any smiths working on anything or people trying to fletch arrows, I'll, uh, I'll lend my expertise, my indomitable artificery to uh, to their skills because um, it's so much better than all of them put together. Yeah, there there are some there's some archers who are who are fletching arrows. Uh, the 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 fight from the battlements is still going on. Uh, there's kind of, they've kind of set up a siege around the place, so uh, archers will occasionally pop over the edge and, and, and let loose an arrow, but it's really more of one of those, uh, you know, there's a, there's a real stalemate. You know, defensive positions, they can't seem to break in the door. Uh, they've got a, a cauldron of hot oil bubbling above the door uh, to kind of prevent, uh, prevent any real attacks. The strange thing is, is the dragon just keeps flying in circles. You know, if they wanted this place, the, the, the dragon could take it. How high up is that dragon? A good few hundred feet. Okay. Do, does the invade, like, if I go up to the wall at some point during these three hours, if I go up there, are there any siege weapons on the attacking side? Uh... There's just the uh, the the battering ram, but it doesn't have a cover, so it's you know it's handheld. Yeah. Uh, the 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 tower itself or the the keep itself has a couple ballistas. So uh, they now they're not full size; they're closer to scorpions than anything. So they don't have trebuchets. They don't have catapults. They got a battering ram and a dragon, and that's it. Now, yeah, this was clear. This is more like a town raid more than like a, you know, a, uh, a, a, an army. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll spend my hours helping them restock weapons, fix armor, shield, stuff like that. Um, I don't really need a short rest right now. Okay. Anybody doing anything else? I'm napping. It's the best time to do it. Nothing's going on. Okay. Uh, evening comes. Uh, one of the guards uh, approaches approaches your group. Uh, I mayor or the, the the governor said that you you a lot are going to be sneaking out. Hey. Um, I know they sent you after the water mill last time. Uh, Y'all ended up going to the the, the temple, uh, but the the mill actually is would be a valuable asset to secure. At least make sure they're not. Yes, you want to go eat. Somebody. Well, there's going to be people there, so it's just a matter of taking one of them. Now you could certainly venture out and look for a random patrol. 
It's your call. What did you say your name was? My name? Mm-hmm. Uh, my name is Ferris. Ferris? Ferris. Hmm. Mm-hmm. And who did you say you report to, Ferris? Uh, report to the to the uh, the governor. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. Go- governor Governor Nighthill. Uh, is that okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, I was just uh, double checking. You came in. You told us things. You told us where to go. I just wanted to don't like I. You know, I needed a name in case, uh, there's a lot of false information going around. I'm not accusing you. I'm not accusing anyone. I just... There's false uh, information going around? Yeah, I don't know. We're in the middle of a war zone now, so of course there is. Alright, well, um... <laughs> Thank you, Therese. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go back to my post, uh, unless you guys want to be shown down to the tunnel. Yeah, take us there. Alright. Uh, you know, he, uh, you know, grabs his gear. Uh, you guys go down, uh, you know, a flight or two of, of stairs into the, this surprisingly deep basement. Uh, where you notice that there are multiple tunnels going off into the dark. Uh, some of them you can tell have been collapsed. Uh, but he leads you to one that ends up taking you, uh, south. Uh, and you do all end up, um... On the south side of town, uh, just 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 past the river. So, which way is the watermill? Uh, it's to the west of where you're at. moment. Uh-huh. Sorry guys, roll 20 just bugged out on me. That's fine. There we go. Yeah, it is. Uh, so you guys do come out of the of the river. Uh, it is nighttime. Uh, how would you like to get to the mill, uh, which you know is over here? To the west. We could stick to the the water. We know the water's gonna go to the water mill. Um, okay, uh, you do also know that the, uh, well, okay, uh, so you guys want to go along the water's edge? Yes. Yeah, is like the, the water, uh, there? is it like a, a slow-moving stream, or is it kind of bubbling at all, or? I mean, it's, it's, it's a bit of a stream, it's, it's not, it's not a river, uh, it's definitely something you could ford, but you could be swept away, I mean, you wouldn't be swept away in the sense that, like, you'll be carried down river or whatnot, but you know, you could certainly lose your footing in it. Does it, especially make, yourself guess, or uh, or uh, Sprocket? Well, that's a concern, but we have I shoulders mean, for that. Does it make enough noise where it would muffle a little bit? Um, your footsteps would probably make lots of noise uh, in the well, water. That's why I was wondering if it would obscure it at all. If there would be any. Uh, if it was like a an actual like uh, yeah the water's not noisy enough for that okay i'm curious how deep this water is so i bring my backpack around and i open the flap on it and then i reach my arm in and i pull out a, a pole and i keep pulling it out and i produce a 10 foot pole out of my small <laughs> little backpack <laughs> and then i stab it into the water to try and figure out how deep the water is Um, it's a couple feet deep, probably a four or five. Oh shit, that's that's dying water. And I pull my, my 
my pull back out and I shove it back into my bag and it disappears. <sighs> All right. Hey, hey Sprocket. Hmm? Yeah? If only you had a solution for this. Wait, why are we going in the water? I thought yeah, we I don't know. I, 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 I think. Sweat. Honestly, tactically, if there's no reason for us to follow the water, why don't we just follow the road? Well, I didn't say, like, follow in the water, but follow, like, along the waterway. I mean... You know, Laura, you... Knowing the town, you could probably sneak along the water and through the woods uh, and get there with uh, with some partial cover. I was saying... Thanks, That's Laura. Like... Let's follow the cleric. <laughs> She knows where to go. Serena, I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, I haven't made the boat yet. Let's just cut through the forest. We'll have some cover and we can follow the river and stay in our correct direction. No sense in complicating it if it's not necessary. I agree. Yep. This is my plan. Uh, okay, uh, I will need a stealth roll from everyone. Disadvantage. Disadvantage. Oh my god. Awful. Well, I guess a 19 or an 18. I suppose an 18 is a shitty roll. <laughs> wow. So, so you, you guys are, are sneaking along the riverbank. Um, the uh, Sprocket, you're, you're, you're feeling pretty confident that your, your small size is going to hide you. Uh, and and just as you have to make a leap that everyone else gracefully made, you 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 lose your footing and you start to slip. But uh, Alexandra reaches out behind her and catches you before all of your equipment hits the ground, uh, and you guys are able to to sneak past that part of the uh, the river. Thanks, Alexandra. Coming in with those high averages. You guys can continue to move if you would like. Dart across the road into the next one. Into the woods. I have a quick question. I am so sorry. Sure. Um, I don't see um, a map or tokens or anything. Go all the way to the bottom oh. of uh, the map screen. Yeah, I just have a blank. I, it's just see black for me. Moment. One moment. Dave problem, not you problem. Fifty-fifty, <laughs> uh, really. We've all done this. <laughs> Which direction are we going? Like, I see the things moving. Now do you see it? Yes, I do. Thank you. Sorry about that. Not a problem. I, I wish I'd known earlier. Uh, you guys are heading west from here. Interesting. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. On the water. <laughs> I thought we were attacking all the big things over there. I'm like, yeah, let's just go fight things. And we just moved that way. And I'm like, yeah, ah. I only have one spell slot. Let's not. Let's attack the full <laughs> battalions. I did say that someone was going to die today. So, like, sorry if this is my assumption. Well, we killed all those other guys. That's somebody, right? Okay. Hey, why are you guys uh, crossing the river? Yeah. Trees. Cover. I can't swim. Climb on. We got this. Love when my camera lets me know that my dog left me a present downstairs. Oh, oh, oh. oh no! <laughs> Got motion detection, buddy. I know when you're down there. Um, okay, you guys are able to make it across. You are now across the river from the water mill. Um, who would like to give me his perception check? Oh, I'll do that. do that. I'll do that. Okay, Serenia. <laughs> He went, he went to go to the, the one-on-one with her. 
Yeah. Sorry, folks. Video will be fixed once they all get back. <laughs> Not fucking with them anymore. <laughs> How many people are watching right now? We have five viewers. That's crazy. We weren't seven. Nice. Like 32, oh, we had seven people. Watching all of us nerds. Oh, my Katie. I know that Bree doesn't get to see her that often, so. Like, almost never. It's terrible. Hi, guys. I saw the bad guys. I'm good at the vision shit. How bad is it? <laughs> Well, listen, I want to get everyone paying attention, because sometimes we're not great at that. Anyway, hear me out. There's about seven kobolds, about two of the cultists. There's two of the masked people, which is the ones we want to take back, or we want to take back the cultists. I was sleeping during that part, actually, so. I think it's really an either-or situation. Okay. Um, and then there's one, like, of the big drakes. Um, the kobolds are on a, uh, patrol round, uh, and we have about ten minutes between rounds, so if we wait for one of the kobold patrols to pass before we pop over, that's one less group of people we gotta deal with. Unless we just wanna, like, all of them, they seem to be kind of fucking up the order of everything, so I'm here for it. Uh, that's the situation. We should at least let them pass so it's our decision to deal with them or not, instead of their decision to deal with us. Let's do that. I'm a big fan of dividing and conquering. Yep. Yeah, I want to fight them all as one big group. Uh, guys, give me one moment. Luffy's back. <laughs> She's a side NPC now. She's so cute. Yeah, she's sweet. She only jumps up on the chair when I pat the side arm to tell her, like, she's allowed to. Aww. I've got another one down on this side of me. <laughs> she's hiding. My camera won't go that far though. She's a side NPC now. Nope, she's like, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Not now. I have a discount husky that kind of does whatever he wants. Yeah, this one's half husky, half Akita, and afraid of everything. Oh. Including water pads. Yes. It, yes, and including like the fan blades, uh the water turning on. She is She's very sweet. She's just afraid. That's so stinking cute. Mhm. Mm I um like under my desk a lot because they're den dogs, so they just like Hang out at my feet and make me afraid of rolling my chair. <laughs> That's why I feel like anytime my cat enters the room, I'm like, I'm gonna kill this thing. It's gonna happen. Yeah. Yes. I I'm constantly like, what dog is underneath me? Where can I move? 
For no me, my cat likes to do that. I am. Um... I I love huskies though. Though ugh. I love oh, huskies too. though. They have such a big personality, and you really you do. know sometimes cause chaos. But that's part of the. Uh... That's what we sign up for though with huskies. Yeah the the brown the reddish brown husky that was at the beginning, she can climb out of a six foot fence, oh. wood fence. So. We worked on it. We added cat fencing. It's okay now. <laughs> okay. Oh. Are you alive? Yes. All right. Um, so, when, where would you? How would you guys like to approach this situation? So I think we're going to wait for that patrol to pass, and then we're going to try and forward over to the the watermill. Okay. One moment. for when we go to the bottom of the ocean. What, going across a river? Yeah, we can figure out like what the, the water resistance feels like, pressure. I mean, is, we're not gonna get is this what the ocean, Is this what the ocean feels like? Well, probably like one fiftieth of the real ocean. I can just from there. Like, is it hotter? Simka? I mean, uh, Bob? What, how, well, it's what's definitely... the temperature control of the ocean? Well, I think that really depends on how deep you're going into the ocean. And also, sunny, dark, and it's also saltier. Well, all the way to the bottom. Oh, geez, yeah, that's freezing cold. It has to be. Being towards the top on a overcast day is pretty darn cold. All right, friends, um, you guys uh, managed to ford across the river a couple minutes after the kobold group has left. Um, I will need a stealth check from the party again. Okay, and initiative. That's fair. That's reasonable. There we are. <laughs> Starting this campaign strong. Okay. One of the uh, one of the kobolds' ears perks up. Is somebody approaching? 
There's somebody approaching! Uh, and they are going to uh, sling a rock at you, Alexandra, because that's the person they heard. Uh, How does a 20 hit me? I rolled a 21 on my stealth. Oh, my apologies. I was looking at the initiative rolls. Sorry, guys. Serenia, you're getting yeah, a rock at your head. It's me. I fucked up. Uh, a for four damage. We're just some ducks. Don't hurt us. <laughs> I start screaming in mimicry that whole the dragon thing. <laughs> Make a performance check. I've just not been doing so hot. Hold on to the rolls until we need them. It's all good now. You're really tough for a kobold! <laughs> uh, next kobold's also going to sw- sling. And Serenia, a, a rock goes flying over your head. Bimgog. Uh, this is garbage. Uh, Bimgog. Bimgog realizes that that they're uh, they're likely going to keep on shooting. Um, he's going to move up, and uh, he is going to um, basically one of these ones in the front, probably the one closest to him. Uh, he's going to take aim and uh, cast Hunter's Mark, and he's going to let an arrow fly. That'll hit. And the one that has been screaming suddenly drops to the ground. I don't know. Where's the dragon? Where? 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 Where did that come from? Oh God! We're under attack. Um, he uh he slings a rock rock wildly in this direction, and just doesn't come close to anyone. This guy. We'll charge forward. And looks like he readies himself for something. Sprocket. Uh, Sprocket will... Sprocket will double move all the way down here. Okay. Uh, as soon as you enter his range, yeah. does a 13 hit you? It does not. A little too nimbly bendly. You dodge out of the way. And uh, that'll be my turn. We've done something more, but this this is much more my speed. Right <laughs> you watch as the the Drake bounds forward. Come and get it. And ah. moves here next to you and releases a roar into your face. It's iconically, like yeah. cartwheel away from him from the sheer force of it. You don't, unfortunately. Uh, Jordan. Bjorn. Bjorn, no. Bjorn, no. Bjornson. <laughs> it's time to smash the dragon. Hmm. Not today. Bounces off his scaly hide. He seems unfazed. Turn over. This kobold. Sling a rock, uh, but it goes sailing over uh, your head, Serenia. Um, Sprocket. Yes. This this fellow comes up to you. 
and you watch as you know his, the his eyes begin to glow his scimitar takes that radiance and it slashes into you and, and it crits you interception okay uh, interception reduces damage correct correct Go ahead and roll. Okay. Um, Sprocket, you will take 24 slashing. I drop like a sack of potatoes. Which one did that? The one right in front of him? Yeah, okay, that one right there. Me. You should know! Don't worry, friend. You'll be with your friends soon enough. It looks like he readies himself. I'm going to bend Fear. that butter knife into a shank and stick it in your anus. Fear the dragon! He charges you, uh, Bimgog. Uh, will 16 hit you? Bimgog does a 16 hit you. Yeah, I said it matches my AC. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you... His dagger will, will pierce through the leather hide that you're wearing. Uh, you'll take five damage. Ah! Bob. I'm going to hop over here so we're just not quite as central. And I'm just going to sure. go for a shot over here. Okay. Uh, you're going to be coming out of stealth for this. So go ahead and have sneak attack. Uh, that will not hit. Do you want to use your inspiration? I do. That will hit. It's much better. Oh! For 14. It does not look happy. Uh, it, it turns around and, and roars at you. Um, Laura. Am I able to sprint over to Sprocket and you spare the dying? Um, look at your to... abilities. So you have a 30-foot move. So okay. this is as far as you can move, right here. Uh, and then look at your spell and look at the range on it. Mm, touch. Okay. Uh, you do have other healing spells, though. Any healing spell will get him back up. Uh, I, since it was only a short rest, I don't have any other spells. You... Did you cast that many spells? Yeah. I cast three during the previous encounter. Okay, I mean, well you have... And then the one. You have a nifty little trick. You are a life cleric. Uh, and as an action, you can restore ten hit points to any creatures within thirty feet of you and divide those hit points among them. So if you want, you can you can heal him up to half of his hit point maximum. Okay, okay. That'd be pretty sweet. So I'm able to move here and then do that? Correct. Okay, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. Um, can you take a five foot step one closer to me? There we go. Said and done. I'm sorry. Um... Oh. Then... Bimgog, what's your maximum health? 23. Or not Bimgog, uh, Sprocket. 20. Okay, she can heal you for a full 10 if that's what you want to do, Laura. Mm? Yes. Okay. Yeah, back uh, in the game. <laughs> Wait, you are prone. Oh, shit, I'm about to get just, just obliterated. <laughs> Please don't. That's one way to start an adventure, like, or, you know, clearly, two adventures. They clearly just want to take out the strongest person on the field. I don't blame them. I get it. 
Alexandra. No one's taking out the strongest person, it's just like, weakest link. I'm gonna run up right behind Bimgog and then send a firebolt over to the, the cultist that killed, uh... Oh wait, no, Sprocket's back up. So I'll send a firebolt at this uh, fur blog that's threatening my buddy. The... The, the, the Drake? It's not a furball! Sorry. What the fuck? Sorry. Kobold. Kobold. I'm sorry. I'm like. I, no, no. I I'm hear you. Sorry. I see you. I drank too much in the cellar and um, do, got my words do, jumbled. Do you want to focus on the kobolds? The the dragon claws and the Drake are still up. You know, actually, those those dragon claws were like pretty. They, that hurt. So uh, let's go after. Let's go after the one that killed Sprocket first. Let's okay. That. Seems like a much better idea. Uh, that will certainly hit. And he looks singed. He definitely did not like that. Um, and that is it. I'm just gonna stand menacingly behind this very small goblin. Uh, this cultist runs up. Uh, he is going after the, the biggest man he can see. Uh, and he, he, he runs up to you, Bear, and he brings his scimitar down, and it literally just clanks off your armor. Oh, much armor. <laughs> uh, this kobold comes over. He is going to attempt to stab Bimgog. Uh, a 16 will hit, so another 5 okay. piercing. Ow! Uh, oh, wait. Uh, what was that that you hit for? 5. And what was the, um, what was the roll on it? Max is AC. Uh, uh, oh, if it matches AC, then I'm gonna use Manifest Wings with my one reaction. And, like... Magical wings will just like whip out from behind Alex in front of Bimgog, and that will bounce off. All right. Woo. Which it's a good thing it matched your AC because I rolled only a one on it. <laughs> Kill the goblin! Um, this one will hit with a twenty-two. Uh, that 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 will hit uh, for five piercing. Ah. Serenia. Serenia will move here. Um, she will activate symbiotic entity. Oh. Yep, nope, I think that's, uh, oh, sorry. And hidden step. So I'll turn invisible until my next turn. Okay. That kobold's dead. That kobold will let loose an attack. Uh, a rock comes and hits you, Bear, uh, for three bludgeoning. Ouch. Bimgog. Alright, Bimgog is horribly outnumbered right here. So Bimgog is going to, uh, disengage. Okay. Then Bimgog is going to uh, shoot at this one. Okay. And... Bimgog should move five feet to the south. All right, Bimgog can do that. There we go. Okay, that will certainly hit. Uh, and he goes cold. The goblin's killing us all! Alex, uh, get over here! This kobold in the back wings. will sling a rock at the 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 winged lady. Uh, that'll hit with a twenty for three damage. Yeah, that'll hit. Wait, hold on. Yeah, that'll hit. 
Ow. Uh, this dragon, uh, fella will, uh, swing his scimitar at you. Uh, Bjorno does a 14 hit. So much armor. <laughs> Actually, my apologies. He has to step forward into this and then he does it. Um, okay. Sprocket. You're prone. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to use half movement to stand up. And, okay. Uh, which one of these assholes is the one that dropped me? Is it this one? It's that one. Um, I'm going to spear him. Or attempt to. Okay. Spear. Uh, that's probably going to miss. Uh, that will hit. Oh, shit. Damage. Just on the nose. Take Go. four. To the kneecap. Ah! He <laughs> drops, to it, drops a knee down. Yeah, now you're oh, on my level, but I can't, I can't capitalize on this moment, so I'm done! <laughs> hey, Dave, take uh, yeah. 8 Necrotic to the Drake who just started his turn right next to me. Ouch. Um, he will, uh, he will snap at, uh, at Bear, um, and swing his tail around, uh, at um, at Sprocket, uh, Bear does a twenty three hit you. Yes, of course. You will take seven piercing. Ouch. Uh, Sprocket, Three you will hits. take nine nine bludgeoning. Interfere interception. Did he have to roll to hit me? Uh, he rolled a twenty three. Oh, that'll hit, I guess. <laughs> uh, how much interception? Five. So, so I take four damage. Yep. I am still up. Bear. Bring the spirit of the bear to this fight. Yornal raises his mighty hammer and smashes the pitiful wormling. Not once. But twice. Uh, action surge, because I can't roll. There we go. That's better. <laughs> much, much better. Boom. Do I Gallagher the little fuck? <laughs> <laughs> One moment. <laughs> Watermelon. Yes. Yeah. Uh, who are you attacking? The the cultists? No. The the Drake. No, but you do cave in one of his eyes uh, as he roars in pain. Um, Kobold will take an attack. Uh, and a rock will go flying over, uh, Alex's head. Dragon Claw will attack. Uh, Bear does a 15 hit you. Which are, Bear? You watch as this this weapon is you know again lights up, uh, and he brings it down and it just clanks off of your armor. Uh, it, it hits so much harder than you've ever seen it. If you raise that butter knife again to me, you are going to regret it. Uh, Bob. Um, uh, I'm pretty happy where I'm at, and I'm just going to keep shooting. <clears throat> If I could roll something, that's better. Yeah. That is not gonna, yeah, is not gonna hit. Uh, Laura? Am I able to use um, Preserve Life again on the little trifecta around me of damage? Uh, that is a channel divinity, so you only get to use one of those per short rest. Uh, you do have a mace that you can use, uh, or a crossbow. Actually, yep, on this booger right here. Actually, do I get a flanking bonus? 
Um, we're going to actually roll with the traditional flanking bonus, so you will have advantage. It's all good. Uh, go ahead and roll, roll again. That will hit. Uh, it's your crossbow, but it's the exact same stats anyway. Oh. <laughs> so roll your mate. Uh, we'll, we'll take your mace damage of four. All right. Anything else? Um, that would be it then for me. Okay. Alexandra. All right. I'm gonna look at the cultist that's standing like right in front of me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say. We only need one of you, and then cast Firebolt. Uh, I'm um, going to use Inspiration, because that's not cool. Never you, uh, you cough on your words, like you took your <laughs> swig of whiskey right before it, uh, and you actually have a little fire on your face. I only drink for false life. Okay. Because it's a requirement. Um, this cultist is going to attack uh, the bear. Or are you going to move at all, Alexandra? Um, I will. Uh, I will move over since that was not very effective. Uh, I did not look as scary over there. So. Okay. Yeah, I'll move there. Uh, bear, does a a nineteen hit you? Yes, it will. Uh, take two slashing. Still standing. Uh, this kobold will... Oops, wrong kobold. This kobold will rush in. Uh, Laura, you're getting stabbed. Oh, Or they're going to try to. Uh, I'm guessing a 12 doesn't hit you, though. It does not. That bounces off your armor. Boy. This kobold will attempt to do the same thing. Uh, although he is going to attempt to stab Sprocket. Does a 23 hit you? Uh, yeah, just no. barely. For five damage. Alright. I'm still up by a marginal amount. <laughs> well, I can say a fractional amount, even, maybe. Serenia. Uh, Serenia will stare down the Drake in front of us all and instead of just like holding up her hand she'll just kind of like flip it off mm -hmm. and uh as one use does use poison spray Ooh. so poison spray uh 13 con save okay is that an aoe or a direct target uh, i believe it's, it's a direct, direct target, target. Okay, you said con? It's one of my cantrips, so... Yep. What's the save? 13. It will fail. Boop. Five poison. It, uh, it, gets, it gets right in that socket of the eye, and it's doing that thing that dogs do, where it, you know, scrapes its... tries to scrape its eye as it's whimpering and crying. Uh, this kobold is going to charge forward. Uh, he's going to try to knife you, Sprocket. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, I'm guessing a 20 hits. Uh, absolutely. Take four piercing. I am down again. Oh. Was that, was that this one over here? Is this one right here? Is that one? Okay. Yep. I couldn't handle my martial prowess on the field. They had to get rid of me. Look at he split again. Bimgog. I have to disengage. And then I'm shooting at that guy that, that stabbed Sprocket, because that's not okay. No. So that will hit. hit. Oh. You pluck him right in the eye. Don't touch Sprocket! This 
kobold will run forward. And he's going to attempt to stab you. Uh, but he trips as he's doing it and lands on his own knife. And actually, funny enough, kills himself. Oh. Uh, this dragon claw. Uh, his blade again lights up, and he slashes at you, Bear. Uh, does a 15 hit you? Not much armor. It clanks off your armor again. You actually see a dent appear in your armor. Sprocket, I need you to GM whisper me a uh, d20. Oh, yeah. Okay. The Drake is going to turn to you, Mr. Bear. It's going to take four points of necrotic first. Okay. Carry on. A uh, 15, it clanks off of your armor with its bite, but it brings its tail around and swipes your leg uh, for six bludgeoning. Ouch. Still standing. Well, it is your turn. Uh, I'm going to second wind it because that really hurt, and I'm in bad shape. And uh, I actually got maximum on my second windage. Nice. Yeah. How about that? That's That's nice. I like it when that happens. I like it when that happens, too. Do you have any other actions you can take? Uh, yes, that's just a bonus. Uh, now I'm going to bring my maul down on its fucking skull. Do it. Yeah, I think it's, I think a 22 will hit. Oh. That'll hit. That'll hit. That, that that does, in fact, do it. Does 12 di bludgeoning damage do a Gallagher? <laughs> so, so, you know, it knocks your leg, and you kind of have to, you know, step over it. Uh, and you take a deep breath and, you know, you focus on the Allfather. He's brought you here for this moment. And you bring your hammer up and you bring it down upon its skull. And it shatters beneath the weight of your maul. Uh, almost like a watermelon uh, would, should it be set upon a table and smashed with a giant mallet. Turn to the face, uh, butter knife. Okay. Turn over. Uh, this kobold, this kobold will make a rush at you. It's a sixteen hit you. Yes. Uh, you'll take five piercing. Ouch. Still standing. Uh, Alex does. Oh, wrong roll. Does an 18 hit you? Uh, Alex? I'm trying to decide if I want to use my last spell slot to cast shield or not. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do it. I okay. Because I can't uh, shield. The, the, the blow looks like it, it would have been significant. Uh, again, you watch as the magic that gets put up actually cracks against the blow. That's going to hurt my wings. Uh, this cultist will come around. Uh, he is going to attempt to uh, stab you from behind. Uh, he will crit. Uh, for six damage. Still standing. Bob. Um, well, now that I know there's advantage on flanking, um, tossing back my crossbow and pulling out my rapier, coming over here and stabbing him. Nice. 
Yeah, my apologies, guys. I, I should have announced that earlier. No worries. It just improves my chances, because I've been... Oh, man. Pain. That will certainly do it. Well, that's, uh... Yep. Take some okay. Eight. He crumbles from the da from the blade uh, entering his spine. Cool. Well, I'm gonna disengage and go like right here. Okay, Laura. Um, am I able to move and use the medicine skill to try to stabilize um, Sprocket? You could, but you're in combat. It, you a, a, a turn is around six seconds. That that'd be tough to do. Now you do have the cantrip spare the dying. Uh, which you can cast at any time. Okay, that's... You would just have to get so, within touch. So am I able to move here, or is that too far? Uh, you could move there. You are going to take two attacks of opportunity. Uh, it'd be easier uh, to just try... Best, to it's best at this point. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Go ahead, Bree. Oh, you can... You can continue. I was just going to suggest you stab the guy that's between them. I'd second that suggestion because he's got another round of saves. So I would third it, knowing I could roll a one. We're not going to think about that right now. We're going to think happy thoughts. <laughs> All right, I I will mace the guy then. With advantage. Okay. Uh, nope. doesn't have advantage because Sprocket's not providing a, 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 an opposite. Down. Yeah. Like, uh, do you my want bleeding corpse as a, as a Do you want to use your inspiration, Laura? Um. Yes. Okay. Roll again. Oh, for goodness sakes! Unfortunately, your mace just keeps on getting blocked by every blow. Ugh. Alex. All right. Well, I'm gonna try to help out, and I'm gonna uh, go for this guy. Uh, knowing that she has spared the dying, and I don't want her to get the death. Thank you. That will certainly hit. And as you crack him in the chest, uh, he, he actually crumbles to the ground. Anything else? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, this kobold is going to attempt to attack Laura. Uh, I'm guessing a 12 does not hit her. It does not, thank goodness. And this kobold will do the same thing. Uh, and it will roll a 21. You will take three piercing. Interception. Okay. She'll take Thank nothing. <laughs> She'll take zero. Nice. Blocks the attack completely. Serenia. Thank you. This jerk. Uh, real quick, I'm a bonus action up Shillelagh, and then... Probably On who? On who? On on yeah. Unfortunately, won't do that. Uh, have you used your inspiration today? No. You can if you'd like. Unfortunately, not gonna not gonna happen. Bimgog. All right, Bimgog is going to once again disengage and okay. to go behind Bob. And then he is going to uh, ready a shot and fire this way and hope that that will hit. Oh, 18. Nice. At, which, at which guy? At the, uh, the person next to Alex. Okay, Laura. Uh, that will certainly hit. Uh, six piercing. And that is, that is all I can Okay. Do. You see him go unconscious. It's good. Uh, that kobold is gone. Sprocket, uh, whisper me another roll. Incoming. Whisper in my ear what I want to hear. 
No, don't whisper what you want to hear. Okay. Guard Drake's dead. Bear! That'll hit. Oh, so good. So oh, good. Hit him that so will... hard. He heals. He feels no pain. <laughs> he feels no pain as his he life is snuffed no out. No pain. Mercy. Uh, this kobold will run. Uh, this dragon call is unconscious. Bob. Wait, is the, the guy that I was trying to hit unconscious now? Uh, this guy is unconscious, yes. He was redu reduced to ex uh, he was reduced to exactly zero. Bob, can't hear you. I'll hop over onto this side and stab him in the back. Okay. That'll hit, and that'll do it. Laura. So, by moving over to Sprocket, I'll still get an attack of opportunity since the last one's nope. right there, right? Nope. Nope, you're okay. fine now. You can cast Spare the Dying with no, with no threat. <laughs> and that Sprocket, you are do. spared. <laughs> Alexandra. <laughs> um, this guy's unconscious in front of me. I'm yep. going to take some rope and start tying him up before he's no longer not unconscious. Okay. Uh, this kobold will uh, come over here. Bob, you can get an attack of opportunity. Hey, which, one? Uh, which one is it? This one. The only kobold I'm left uh, in, in the fight. It's bottom right. It's the I one next to Sprocket. I'm for 11. You're saying he's within 10 feet or, of No, me? 9. Pardon me. I'm, yes. I'm saying he dies to the to Bob's attack of opportunity. <laughs> uh, we're going to take a quick 5 minute break, guys. I'm going to go uh, pick up my neighbor as a favor, so I will be back uh, momentarily. Hi. I don't know why it wasn't showing me like who was who. It was weird. Happens. Here. His wings are clutch. Huh? Time for me to grab a beer in my skull mug. <laughs> As it should be. I have a matching pitcher too. Can make mixed drinks in skulls. So good. Level two. Huh? Level two is a joy. Yeah. No, TPKs, Bjorno is strong. I will catch many butter knife blows to the face.
I gotta like make my room look cooler to keep up with all of your nice streaming setups. <laughs> so like in the middle of like. Yeah, my streaming setup, setup is gorgeous. Bree keep Bree likes up, keep up with this. <laughs> Bree likes our setup. Like a decent wall. It's a. I feel like, do you see all the crap behind me? <laughs> it's right here. It's just a wall. That, that right there is an unused Disney Infinity figure collection that I've had for the past six years sitting on that shelf. What is in a bunch of like moving boxes and a bed that's not even on a frame? <laughs> and and over one of those here. pull down projector screens that you can like pull down behind you so no one can see what's happening. This this is crafting crap that hasn't been touched in several years because the girl grew out of it, but I don't have the heart to throw it away. I love it. So. Hey, don't front. We all have crafting crap that we've had for several years that we haven't touched, but we won't throw away. Well, because the unseen corner is absolutely terrifying with all the crafting crap that is touched. So... There's like, you know, I got a sewing machine and a loom and so much crap. Stuff to make, uh, you know, when you put the glue and the, the agent together and you get the slime. Got a whole bunch of slime stuff for making. So much slime. It's the absolute worst part of LARPing because anything can become a prop, so I have a really hard time throwing things away. And then I just accumulate. Accumulate. Yeah. I think I have like three license plates. No. No. Five. From all the various moving and stuff like that. I never gave the old one back, so I have like five license plates floating around. So much sewing stuff that I don't use. <laughs> We're actually planning on getting one of the um, like containers dropped off the dump truck containers dropped off at our house next spring to just deep clean it all because the problem that we have is um, we can only go to the landfill Saturday mornings based on all the other scheduling things. It's like, we can't do that that regularly. Like, I'll pay the money, just leave something here for a few days and we can just throw things in. I got a dumpster outside the house a handful of years ago to clear out the attic of all the stuff that was not mine that nobody wanted to take back. And it is still overflowing with way too much stuff that should not be there. I, I have an enclosed porch that is not mine. It just has like beer bottles that have been sanitized, shoved in there, carboys. An AC unit that hasn't been touched in 12 years. You know. I don't think any of it can be that's, taken that's out of the room because it got with. built up around. Yeah. So much crap. I hope we're level three after this. We did a lot of murder. <laughs> Agreed. It'd be great. I would like to actively be a swashbuckler and not a pretend swashbuckler.
I have sorcery points, but I can't do anything with them right now. It's very annoying. I think this is the first time in a very long time that I have actively chosen a character that does not have any magical abilities. And will probably not. It's been a long time. Let's affect it sometime. It's, it scared living daylights out of me a couple of times. Give the healer a panic attack. <laughs> Moresbeer has returned, Mr. Bear. I know, I wow. said that to you. Yeah, I know, that's what I said, Mr. Bear. Mr. Bear. I think we might, no, we have chocolate milkshake. He just walked in and handed me a pimp cup filled with mysterious liquids. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Katie's too good for this world, we don't deserve her. the worst okay he's still alive like, and, and he didn't die there's just so many things there were so many things that combat hurt combat hurt a lot <laughs> the deal Go down after 22, buddy. I'm not quite sure how, but I only have 22 maximum hit points. Let's not make it a trend. I didn't roll. I only have 12. Yeah, it, it's calculated. But also, Sprocket's just destined to die. Let's not, like, get too attached. Let's just move Whoa. on. It, that's just... Let's not just... do that. Let's do have a habit of not staying dead too long, though, so... He's a busy man. He's got things to do. He doesn't got time to die. <laughs> Oh, is this turning into a Deadpool thing where he's just in love with her, has to visit every once in a while, makes smoochy faces, you know. Sprocket is actually a lich and just like playing pretend with us. <laughs> it 
if, if Sprocket dies and we do another campaign, the Sprocket at the beginning, 100% Lich. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. So it was a plot to get to the ocean, like, to secretly kill us all. I just want to be on the same page before we set out. Too kindly. <laughs> it's so much better. It's so much better. Who's that? Rock voice. Who's that voice? Who are you? I don't know you. Also, what can we all appreciate it? that Dave said he was going to go help his neighbor and claimed it was going to be a five minute thing? Like, that's never. Like, like we, we know better. I guess you're, I. Well, unless you're actively I just barely physically peed picking and them up, came back in five minutes the last time. Like exactly. <laughs> hey, to be fair, I think this is the neighbor that like sometimes dog, dog sits. And, and, uh, for free, and like, dog. during the day? Saved his dog? Like, From gave what? his dog... Gave, yeah, gave his dog uh, meds when his dog was having a uh, Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think it's the same neighbor. So, like, we'll, we'll give him that. I would, <laughs> hey, I would Dave, we and... weren't talking about you. What's up? Well, what are we going to give me? Nothing. I got I got something like that now. <laughs> uh, that is my degree. I was gonna ask about that too. What's your degree yeah. in? Uh, criminology and sociology. Oh my goodness. Yep. Are you using it now, Dave? Nope. I tried using it. It was depressing. <laughs> it is depressing. Here. Look at how good I am. I got two for the price of one. Ooh, I, I got art history and studio arts. <laughs> I was so. working on dual bachelors. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, go on, Dave. You no, 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 go ahead. Me. You Dual bachelors, you got it. No, 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 Let, let's go on. You have okay. the dual bachelors, I don't. You're the DM here. Well, I had to, I had to, my, my neighbors have been letting me use their backyard. Uh, so I had to, she, she sent me a text saying that her car broke down and uh, she needed me to pick her up at the mechanic because her husband wasn't going to be home for a couple hours. So I was like, yeah, you know, best thing you can do for yeah, a neighbor we is. I really agree that your neighbor, your, your neighbor was worth it, right? Like this is the, the, this is vet who lets the dog play with their dog. That's a right? different like, neighbor. This is easy. the neighbor that lets me use their backyard however uh, to, to exercise uh, this little shit. Some good neighbors, man. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's how you, that's how how you, you keep your neighbors. You know that many neighbors is fast. And I, I say hi to them when I see them outside and I make small talk. And give me apple pie moonshine. That's also equally good. Yeah, that's right up there with what my neighbors are doing. So, yep, we're good. We're up and running. All right, so you all, um, you, 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 you watch as the last kobold scurries off into the darkness. Um, you have a one of the cultists who is is bleeding out but unconscious in front of you. 
Oh, I start tying him up. Okay. He is now tied up. I football carry him. Healer Laura, oh, will you uh, stabilize him? Uh, I was about to say so. I, I'm definitely going to approach and stabilize him. Oh. Okay, you cast Spare the Dying on him. I have a question. How big was that Drake? Uh, it was pretty size. It was, it was, I mean, it was only a medium creature, but it's, it's essentially, if you imagine a, uh, like a very, very large dog. It's like skin usable for like leather and stuff. So um, if you want to drag it, sure. You could try to uh, skin it later. I will attempt to do so. I will okay. rape the rest of the cultists that are dead. Uh, sure. person. Give me a uh, give me an inspection or, or investigation or a perception. Nope, that's a crap roll. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave uh, too. Okay. Uh, perception so or investigation. I'm also gonna use my two sorcery points just to get more spell slots. Okay. Um, you guys are able to piece together 40 gold. Jesus Christ. Actually, I'm gonna use my inspiration on that. Fuck that. I would, I wouldn't use your inspiration on it. I did, though. Do it! You guys, Do it, you guys still it. only find 40 gold. Excellent. I know that there's only 40 gold now. <laughs> um, so you guys, uh, I, I imagine throw this guy over your shoulder. Uh, managed to, to sneak away, uh, avoiding the patrol that you know was coming, uh, and make it back into the keep, uh, where you are greeted by uh, the guards uh, and the governor, who uh, take the prisoner uh, off of your hands. Um, at this point, you all also notice that the dragon has flown away. Uh, but the keep is still surrounded, uh, and the sounds of battle, uh, or the sounds of the siege and, and whatnot continue. How if, high is if the If you would today? like... Uh, about 20 feet. So if I, like, stand on top of the wall and just ping people with fireball, can I effectively end this war? <laughs> um... You can try. Uh, you do have a legion of, or a good number of archers outside who are also going to be firing back at you. Oh, that sounds painful. Never mind. I'll stick with my Drake. Hey. Uh, is anybody... Who, who took the 40 gold? I will. I'm, I'm just like asking. That. Yeah, no, like, who's Who's being the pack right here? Who, who did it? I'll I'll be Bob. the. The bird took the keeper. shiny. Okay, the bird took the shiny. Yeah. All right. Call call, motherfucker. <laughs> I I and that's not to like throw shade on anyone. I just knew that we all just kind of moved past that, and I wanted someone to take accountability for it. So. I'll totally be accountable for that gold. I'm gonna find uh, the... I don't know, the triage area, Dave? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna yeah. fall into one of the beds with my one hit point and just lay there and look pitiful. Oh. Okay. Um, if you guys want, you can bunk uh, Captain is uh, near the top of the wall, uh, you know, barking out orders. Uh, the uh, the scorpions are uh, are trained on the air, uh, and the archers are all holding their position. Uh, there's very much a stalemate going on. Uh, suggest to the captain uh, if he's got a, a handful of uh, guys he could lend me. We'll we'll sneak back out through the tunnels and go around and fuck the enemy in the ass. Do some hit and run uh, and bullshit. We can certainly try that. Are you wanting to go now? Yep. A little asymmetrical warfare. Did you see the cure wounds I threw you? Oh, I, I did don't not. thank you. 
Yeah, no, as we were going through, I just cure wounds for eight. Thank you. My my men are exhausted. I, I don't know that I can spare anybody off the wall right now. Uh, if they continue the siege tomorrow, yes. For now, I need you all to attempt to get some rest. You got it. Go on to bed. I'm gonna... Uh, find some place to put this drake until I can deal with skinning it. Okay. Uh, there, is a, uh, there is a tannery in here uh, where you can take it. Is the meat edible? Uh, drake meat is generally not viewed as edible. That sucks. Uh, I'd also like to see well, the bones. Actually, one moment. Hmm. But like, theoretically, theoretically, if I made stew, would people eat it anyway? Uh, no, actually, yes. uh, it is considered a type of dragon. Uh, so, yeah, it is edible. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Then, um, Quite succulent. That's a meat of dragons. That's a let's king get meal. That let's get that butchered up. Let's get the skin uh, leathered. Let's get the bones all saved uh, for uses. Um, and I'll, we'll divvy this up uh, once I get back from sleeping. Uh, you guys managed to, to get down to the, uh, the bottom parts of the keep. Uh, where you're insulated from some of the noise, uh, and you guys do get a long rest. Awesome. Oh, thank Christ. Heal up. Ah, oh, that's better. Much, much better. Um, in the morning, I would be more than happy to help, uh, Alexandra, uh, skin that drake. I'm proficient in leather workers' tools and, and stuff, so I can be of assistance there. Sound good? Cool. Uh, I don't know who I left it with. Probably a butcher first is who I would have left it with. So then I'll just take the skin and give it to you so we can turn the skin into leather. How much meat did I get off of it? Uh, there's a couple. The butcher thinks they could probably get a you know good 20, 30 pounds. Okay. The butcher can have uh, 20% for all the work. Um, we'll do 50-50. I'm, I'm going to be butchering this. It's quite a bit of work to butcher a drake. But I'll let oh. you keep the skin. Okay, what if you take 20, I agree to spend 50% of my 60 back into town for trading so everyone gets a little bit of meat? Are you a butcher? Well, no. So I'll, I'll, we'll split the meat 50-50 and you, you get the hot. you want to fight one of these? I don't think you want to fight one of these. I actually killed that. I don't remember who actually killed it, but she says that He's... I actually killed that. Uh, would you like to make persuasion or intimidation? Oh, uh, let's go with persuasion. He uh, he takes the, the 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 large butcher knife and slides it across the table. Okay, fine. Seventy thirty. I'll take seventy. You take thirty. Fair enough. No, no, I take seventy. You take thirty. Look. I'm about. I'm going to spend hours butchering this thing. I'm giving you the hide, which will be professionally t uh, removed, meaning that the damage that has been done minimized. So you'll have a good quality hide. Uh, I'll save you the horn, um, and I'll even bottle some of the blood for you. Okay, fine. Fifty-fifty. Uh, so you receive uh, two vials of Drake blood, uh, a good quality Drake pelt. And uh, 10 pounds of Drake meat. Extra tender. 10 pounds? It's like a skinny like little. Straight, straight out of Oregon Trail. Sorry. Yeah, 
10 pounds. There's drakes are a lot of bone too. Scale. As far as edible meat, not to mention the poison that was sprayed on it. It's weird mold growing on it. Fungus. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, those no go on. I don't give I don't have a, a bone in this race. Let's move so, on. So so morning comes, uh, as it so often does. Um the the uh the sound of the siege is is has started to die down as the two sides realize there's a, you know the stalemate is only going to continue. And in the morning you all hear uh, a horn that is blown quite loudly um, from, from outside the walls. Uh, and, and a voice uh, right, uh, yeah, Greenest! Come forth with your champions! I have a proposition for you. I look around for the uh, champions. Uh, the the governor uh, mounts the wall. Uh, Thank you. Anybody else going up? Rocket. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Serenia yeah. will go up and be like, "Hey, who are you?" Ooh. I'll go up. Everyone's up there. I want to be up there. Why are you assaulting this poor town? <laughs> My friends. What do they have that you care about? We're not friends. This this not, has been a no, no, no. successful night, and I am feeling generous. Do you see these four <sighs> pitiful, useless prisoners? We have no need for them, so I will trade them back to you. You will send out your best warrior to fight me, and you can have these four in exchange. Uh, and before you, you guys see... Uh, you know, four, you know, three children and a woman uh, who are all tied. Um, the the little boy from earlier uh, is scurried up the wall. Like, mommy, mommy, you're no hops off the wall. Hey, how far Sir, away? Is who this? are you, and 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 why do you think I care? Who are you? I am Langdorosa Cyanrith. And I am the leader yeah. of the or of this <laughs> aspect of the dragon. Now, yeah. is this your champion you, is this your champion you you set before me? How far away is this guy? Uh maybe 30 40 feet. Oh man, I'm so tempted to just start fighting. Piorno's gonna, gonna ah. smash his maul into the ground and, and, and do a big flex. Hey, 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 okay, okay, okay. Everyone just take a quick pause. Let's make sure we're on the same page here. Yeah, I should be the one down there Let's fighting get the civilian. One -on -one. Hey, uh, hey, scaly bitch. Let's get the civilians. Over there, we can. I promise. The fight will be whatever you want the fight to be. Um, to just stop he killing looks, kids. He looks at the bear. He looks at the very, very tall, moldy woman. Very well. He turns back in and raises three fingers, and the children are allowed to uh, scurry to the walls of the keep. Uh, the rest and of the kobolds uh, circle the woman. Now, I will make my terms. We will fight in single combat. If any of your friends should uh, interfere, this woman dies. Do you accept? Terms. They are acceptable. But wouldn't you rather fight me with something larger than that half-cocked butter knife you're carrying around? <laughs> I'm embarrassed for you. Oh, you're you are right. I shouldn't use my spear. And he re puts his hand back, and one of the kobolds comes forward with a great sword. Yes, there we are. Much more worthy. 
You wish to fight me, barbarian. There is nothing barbaric about the knight of the Order of Astoria. Very well. Before this all goes down, can I... I'm sorry. Can you... Can I get the children to somewhere safe before they start... They lower ropes down for the kids uh, to, to climb up, and the kids all get inside of the keep. Uh, hey, Dave, can you check my uh, vision? Because I don't think I'm seeing the right. Uh, you guys are, are probably stuff. you're it, you're blocked by the wall. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna move you out here, but uh, you guys are actually inside the, of the keep. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. And I'm actually gonna move you guys the, to the battle. What map. I have is the last. Yeah. What I have is the last fight, and. No, yeah, now we're all back, yeah, back there. I wish the city had a grid, but it doesn't, unfortunately. I mean, I think we were okay without a grid on that, since it was just going to be a one-on-one fight. Yeah. Uh, just to be clear, to a reminder to everyone, uh, the, the, the guy has made the, the statement uh, uh, already that... Uh, any interference will result in the death of, of the, the the woman. Okay, but if any of them move to hurt the woman before the fight is over, I'm going to start throwing fire bolts. That's certainly fair. Them. Yeah. Uh, Panda... Dave, my viewing is still... Uh, you should be on the blank battle map. 